So, when an individual decides to stop drinking alcohol, there are a number of options available to him or her. They could check into a rehab, they could do it on their own using willpower, they could read some books, they could take some medication. There are a number of different ways available to them, but there's something happening at the moment, and there's this rise of a sober coach, which is something that a lot of people are doing and getting results with. But in this video, I'm actually going to explain to you why I'm not a sober coach. I don't consider myself a sober coach. You might consider me that, but I'm going to explain why I'm not in a minute. And this will really actually help you understand the way I view alcohol, which will actually help you make stopping drinking a logical decision. And just before we get into the video, let me know in the comment section down below how you stopped drinking. Did you hire a coach or did you do 12 steps, do it on your own? Let me know in the comment section how you've done it. And guys, very quickly, if you want to get access to a free video training that shows you how to control alcohol without AA and willpower and rehab and therapy, click the link in the description. There's a free video training there. You'll just put your name and email address in, and it's really gonna show you what I call the strangest secret to controlling alcohol by using something called first principles thinking. So if you want access to that training video, please click the link in the description, and now back to the video. So, like I said, I'm not a sober coach. Now, you're probably thinking, well, of course you are, Leon. You make these videos, you, you run this sober clear program, you know, you help people on the internet and do all of this stuff. Of course you're a sober coach. And what inspired me to make this video is I was actually, I mean, like a, a group chat with a few friends and we talk about fitness and stuff like that. And I said to my friend, you know, this, this group chat's pretty awesome. You know, we all kind of hold each other to a, a higher standard. And then we just spoke a bit more. And I said that, you know, you're, you're the average of the people that you spend the most time with. And then he made a joke and he said, oh yeah, we're all going to become like power lifters with the homestead and we're all going to be sober coaches because that's you know what some of my friends are into and, and I sat there for a second and I read this message and I thought sober coach okay I'm not a sober coach and then I'm like well I guess other people perceive me this way just bear with me you will understand in a minute so let me break it down so let's say that you hire a sober coach and you work with a sober coach for six months and you've got this goal of working together for a six month period where you won't drink and that individual is going to hold you accountable and you'll do phone calls and they'll check in with you etc etc and then you reach this goal together Together, all is well and good, the relationship is finished. And I'm not knocking that, right? For 1000%, there are millions of people out there that could hire a coach, they change their relationship with alcohol, they, they, they either get it under control or they stop drinking forever, and it's an amazing service where everybody benefits. Now, my view is a little bit different. So, back when I was trying to stop drinking alcohol, my goal wasn't necessarily to stop drinking alcohol. I knew I had to get rid of it but there were reasons why I had to get rid of it. Sure, my life was in a bad place, but I was sick of it. I was sick of, you know, the hangovers. I was sick of the low energy, the lack of clarity. But the main thing and the main motivation for me was I knew that I would never build the life of my dreams if I kept drinking alcohol. I knew that I'd keep going through this cycle. I'd never reach my potential. And for me, that was the main motivation. So when I decided to not drink it anymore, like it was a simple decision. So what this meant was that as soon as I made that decision, that was it. Like I didn't need to go back. I didn't need any help. I didn't need any accountability. I just made a decision to not drink. And then I immediately went towards building the life of my dreams. So when I was, you know, creating Sober Clear and creating a program for people to follow, I decided to not create a 30 day thing, a 60 day thing, a 90 day thing. For many people, they do do a 30 day challenge, a 60 day challenge. They, they, it's framed this certain way. They do it. They stop drinking. All is well and good. But for me, it's more than that. Right. What I help people do is change the way they view alcohol so they can make a decision and they don't need accountability. They don't need anybody to check in with them because they've made a choice to not drink it. It's very different to, you know, using willpower and having somebody there to just kind of call when you feel like drinking. That's very different. Right. And that approach would never have worked for me. If I'd have bought into a sober coach that was calling me every day and saying, Leon, have you drank? No, I've not drank. Listen, within one week, I would have blocked that guy or girl and just I would have gone off the rails. What I needed was a completely different approach that changed how I viewed the drug. I knew that it was a problem with my perception, not a problem of having like not a lot of willpower or something like that. I think I've got a lot of willpower, but I had a problem with the way I viewed the drug. That was where everything came from. And I knew that once I've changed that, I didn't need help, right? I just needed to get on with my life. And that is what I like to help people do, right? I want to help people change the way they view alcohol, but then together we focus on the future, right? We don't focus on stopping drinking in my program, right? That's just the first part. That makes up a very small part of it, but it's what we do next that counts. And it's all about building momentum. It's about going forward. It's about getting back to the gym and crushing work and crushing businesses and being there for our families. That's what's important, right? That's what I want to help people do. The alcohol stuff, what we want to do is make that irrelevant so you don't need accountability. You don't need help. We put this behind of you and then move 
forward. And this is why I don't identify with being like a sober coach. I am a coach for sure. I help people, I coach them all the time, and I absolutely love it. And I know a lot of people, you know, they, they watch this channel because they want help with stopping drinking, but that's just the first step at the end of the day, right? Stopping drinking is a decision, and once you have actually made that decision, you don't need to revisit it. You don't need to get someone checking in with you every day. But what you do need to do is you need to figure out where you're gonna go next. You need to create that compelling vision of a great future and then start aiming to just go towards that vision every single day. Just slow, gradual improvement, one brick at a time. That's what I help people do. Because at the end of the day, I didn't wanna just stop drinking, right? I, can't, I could never run a program that was just about stopping drinking and then adios, have a nice day, you've stopped drinking, I'll leave you to it. I couldn't do that. I knew that what people wanted is they wanted a better life for themselves. They wanted to make alcohol irrelevant. They didn't want to go to meetings. They didn't wanna to have to see a therapist every day or you know, call themselves alcoholics for the rest of their life. They wanted to make this problem irrelevant, but then they wanted to go towards a better quality of life. So that's why I don't identify myself as a sober coach because I don't think that getting sober is a goal that you have to work towards for a long period of time, right? Somebody can change their perspective in a few days. It's happened for many people that watch this channel. They find this channel and within a couple of days, they're off the drink and that's it, done. So this idea that I'm gonna work with somebody for six months on the goal of stopping drinking, well, I don't need to do that. Right? I need to help somebody see it for what it is and then put it behind of them and move on. And wherever you are on your journey, that's what I want for you as well. That's why I make these videos. That's why I run my business. That's why I share this message every day or almost every day, probably every other day I post a video. But it's because I want you to see alcohol this way. I want you to make it irrelevant and I want you to make it such a small part of your, of your mind and your, your, your life that it's just not even a problem anymore. It's a non-issue. Then you don't need anybody's help. Then you can just live your life and put this problem behind of you and get on with things. So wherever you are on your journey, have a great day. Thanks a lot.